Hello my dear children, I hope all of you are doing good and I am Roshni from Learner Hub, the free learning platform. So today I am here with the sixth video of the video series on Natural Resources Class 9 Science and in this video I am going to discuss yet another very 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 important topic and that is ammonification and nitrification. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. Now the next step that is nitrification. So what is nitrification? Nitrification is the process in which the ammonia gets converted to nitrite and then to nitrate. So that is nitrification because now we have learned that plants can cannot utilize atmospheric nitrogen. Plants can utilize nitrogen in the form of nitrites or nitrates. So therefore it is important that the ammonia also gets converted into nitrites or nitrates. So now you might be thinking that who does this nitrification that is okay so um, uh, atmospheric nitrogen to ammonia was done by the biological uh, fixation maybe like the rhizobium but who does conversion of ammonia to nitrites and then to nitrates. So basically this process is also carried out by prokaryotes. So prokaryotes are the simpler organisms which um, like we must have studied about this right prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Eukaryotes they have uh, more they are more advanced they have more uh, compartmentalization where they have different cell organelles performing different functions. Whereas in case of prokaryotes, you really do not have so much of distinction between each and every organelle of the cell. So under the prokaryotes come the bacteria. So this process is also carried out by uh, some of the bacteria and this is an aerobic process which needs the presence of oxygen. So presence of oxygen is needed for this process. So let us look at the overall process so far. So we saw that the atmospheric nitrogen got converted into ammonia and this process was called nitrogen fixation. So this process, the, this can happen in three different ways, atmospheric fixation or industrial fixation or biological fixation. So the biological fixation is carried out by the symbiotic bacteria which are present in the uh, root nodules of leguminous plants. Now this ammonia then gets converted into nitrites. So what, what are nitrites? NO2 minus these are nitrites and these nitrites in turn get converted into nitrates that is NO3 minus and this entire process where ammonia is getting converted to nitrites and then to nitrates this is our nitrification. So we can say that nitrification is a two step process where in the first step ammonia gets converted to nitrite in the second step nitrite gets converted into nitrate and this nitrate can then be utilized by the plants because this is now in the usable form. So this entire so one cycle or one flow is done one portion of the entire cycle is done. Now what would be the next process the next process is denitrification. Now the name itself says tells us that this is just the opposite of nitrification. So in this process what's going to happen? So just the opposite of nitrification. So here nitrates get converted to nitrites and nitrites in turn give get converted to the atmospheric nitrogen so nitrates is no3 minus this gets converted to nitrites which is no2 minus and this no2 minus then gives oxides of nitrogen and from this atmospheric nitrogen can be released to the atmosphere so denitrification is just the opposite process of nitrification. So it is the process by which the nitrites can be converted back into atmospheric nitrogen. However, in this process, there are certain intermediate products like even though you started with nitrites and nitrogen is your final product, 
so this is your final product the atmospheric nitrogen but there are certain intermediate products which are formed here for example these gases like the oxides of nitrogen like n2o no these are the gases which are the intermediate products and the worst part is that n2o is a greenhouse gas now what is greenhouse gas you will learn a little later when we talk about the greenhouse effect in more detail so this is a very poisonous gas basically because these gases can lead to uh, air pollution so they cause pollution so they have a tendency to react with ozone and cause air pollution so that is the disadvantage of this process that during the course of this process some harmful gases are released as intermediate products so therefore these harm these intermediate products can cause pollution so this is the major disadvantage of the process of denitrification however this process also has an advantage it plays an important role in waste water treatment how that's because this process now in waste water there is a lot of nitrates present in the waste water so we want to remove the nitrates from the waste water so by this process the unwanted nitrates are removed from waste water therefore it reduces the chances of algal blooms so algal blooms we discussed right due to the excess presence of nutrients right like due to the excess presence of nitrates or phosphates algal bloom takes place so by this process of denitrification the excess of nitrates can get converted to nitrogen atmospheric nitrogen therefore the possibility of algal bloom can reduce so in that way it helps in waste water treatment but on the other hand side because of the intermediate products it adds to the air pollution and finally the last process which is ammonification so what is ammonification so it is the process that converts organic nitrogen into ammonia now you might feel that ammonification suddenly came out of the way because we almost completed one cycle so because atmospheric nitrogen got converted into ammonia by nitrogen fixation then ammonia to nitrites then nitrates by nitrification then nitrates back to atmospheric nitrogen by denitrification so these three processes together completed one cycle so why do we need ammonification so let us understand because in ammonification we are not converting the atmospheric nitrogen to ammonia we are converting the organic nitrogen so do you know the difference between organic nitrogen and atmospheric nitrogen atmospheric nitrogen is the gaseous form of nitrogen which is present in the atmosphere so con to convert atmospheric nitrogen to ammonia which process is helpful nitrogen fixation yes but organic nitrogen is something else when an organism excretes wastes or when an organism dies because our body is made up of a lot of nitrogen proteins nucleic acids all of them have nitrogen now when we excrete or when we die so the nitrogen in the tissues is in the form of organic nitrogen that is the nitrogen which is present in our dna or the nitrogen which is present in the amino acids of proteins those nitrogen they are the organic nitrogen they are in the organic form now what happens to that nitrogen so when living organisms utilize the maybe the nitrates or nitrites or whatever but those organisms when they die what happens to that organic nitrogen so something has to happen to that organic nitrogen also so microorganisms decompose the tissue and release inorganic nitrogen back into the ecosystem as ammonia and ammonia in turn is available for uptake by plants and their microbes for growth so let us look at this diagram for a better understanding of the all the four processes together so this was atmospheric nitrogen so this got converted into ammonia by a process called nitrogen fixation now this ammonia in turn got converted to nitrites and then to nitrates by a process called nitrification now this nitrite can further be converted back into atmospheric nitrogen and this process is called denitrification now what happens to this nitrates this nitrates they get utilized by the plants 
and these plants in turn are get utilized by other animals that means basically all plants and animals utilize this nitrates directly or indirectly but when these plants and animals they die the nitrogen present inside their body in the form of nucleic acids or proteins that nitrogen is organic nitrogen so anything that is present inside the plant or the animal body that is organic nitrogen and this organic nitrogen gets converted into ammonia and that is how it is given back to the ecosystem so this nitrogen also gets converted back to ammonia and this process is known as ammonification now who does ammonification now let's see who does each of these processes so nitrogen fixation can happen by three process uh industrial atmospheric and biological biological is um, biological occurs with the help of symbiotic bacteria present in the root nodules of leguminous plants nitrification happens again by prokaryotes when you talk about ammonification this also happens the microbes which are involved in this process are also the prokaryotes that is the bacteria and fungi so bacteria and fungi they both help in the decomposition of the tissue and therefore they convert the during this during the course of ammonification the organic nitrogen gets converted to inorganic nitrogen why organic anything that contains carbon is called organic so when you look at uh, whether a protein or a nucleic acid they all contain nitrogen but they also contain carbon so that is why it is organic nitrogen so these uh, prokaryotes and fungi they act on this this organic nitrogen and convert it into inorganic nitrogen which is given back to the uh, atmosphere in the form of ammonia so this entire conversion takes place during the process of ammonification so with these four processes in mind now you can very clearly understand this picture this picture might have seemed complicated when i started explanation of nitrogen cycle but now it would appear simple so see here this is the atmospheric nitrogen first step is nitrogen fixation so nitrogen fixation can happen either by the bacteria which are living in the root nodules so these are the symbiotic bacteria so either by symbiotic bacteria or by the free living nitrogen fixing bacteria in the soil so these two types of bacteria will help in nitrogen fixation so they will basically convert the atmospheric nitrogen into ammonia right so both of them are doing the same thing now then in the next step what's happening is nitrification so the ammonia is getting converted to nitrites and then to nitrates and this process is nitrification and the bacteria which are involved in doing this are called nitrifying bacteria now these nitrates are then utilized by the plants directly whereas there are certain set of bacteria which can convert these nitrates back into atmospheric nitrogen this process is called denitrification and these bacteria are called denitrifying bacteria now these plants and animals whoever utilizes the nitrates they all contain nitrogen in their body so when these plants and animals die the organic nitrogen in their body is acted upon by the decomposers that is bacteria so these decomposers then act on the organic nitrogen convert them into inorganic nitrogen and then into ammonia and that process is called ammonification so in this fashion all these four processes together tell us the nitrogen cycle that that uh, is taking place in the ecosystem just to maintain the balance of net atmospheric nitrogen so children i hope you found these videos useful and do make sure that you watch all the eight videos of the video series on natural resources class 9 science and i am sure these videos are definitely going to help you if you have a feedback to share do let me know in the comment section i would be more than happy to hear from you i will meet you all very soon with a new video with a new topic till then take care bye bye